Hello everyone, Marky Joe 1990 here, and welcome to Nintendo Lord Saga Chapter 5. And uh, before I start the video, I should probably say a few things. Uh, the first one being that I uh, did not beat this chapter legitimately. I cheated, and uh, I'm not happy about it, but this chapter is just way too hard. Um, I tried several times to beat it legitimately, and it really didn't work out. I really tried as hard as I could. And then after a while, I just... I just felt convinced that either I'm not good enough to beat this chapter or the chapter's just way too hard in general and that uh, the author is just demanding way too much out of us. And well, because of that I decided to cheat and well, as for the chapter in general, it it's really bad, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's just bad. It has several poor des design decisions not in terms of the story the story the story is the same as it always been except this chapter actually has a little bit more plot more dialogue but really it's nothing special but the design is just awful and we'll we'll get into that uh soon enough uh now i'm going to start the video and we will begin Hua! <laughs> Okay, so I start the chapter. By the way, this is post-production commentary, in case you couldn't figure that out. Now, uh, basically, the, this I'll, I'll give you the synopsis of this chapter. Um, the two kingdoms, Grand Bell and Akinia, are, are at war, as you all know. And Grand Bell wants to take over Akinia, but Akinia found out about their plans. You know, they, so they did a preemptive strike. Grand Bell successfully defends against it. It's, it's kind of summarizing the previous chapters, but anyway. Um, so, in this chapter, Timo gets named Commander Timo, and he's a commander of one of the armies of freaking Grand Bell. And they, uh, in this chapter, they discuss the battle plans with the king of um, Grand Bell. And basically, what what they had, what he has in mind is that he's going to split his uh, army into t into three groups. One's going to be led by Ursula. One's going to be led by uh, General Glenn, and one's going to be led by uh, Prince Trek. Now, um, we haven't seen Prince Trek yet, but uh, you're you're gonna see him soon enough. He's gonna show up in any moment now, really. Uh, once they start to meet up and stuff. And basically, they're going to, like, do a three-way on, on Akinia. Uh, here we go. The Emperor's right there. He's like, epic mustache man. Uh, this is where they explain the battle plans and stuff. I think I'm going a, a little too ahead. And there's Prince Trek in his stupidest glory. Um, yeah, I'll just let you take a look at this. Southern Shore will be led by Ursula. The second part will be defending against the North. And the third will take over the capital. And Percival's like, yo, I, I bet I know who will be leading. It'll probably be me. Oh, what? It's Prince Trek. And Prince Trek is like, whoa, that's awesome. It's like he got a new laptop. Like, he's leading a freaking army. Seriously. And since Percival's so worried, he gets assigned as Prince Trek's Jagan. Poor Percival. He's going to have a rough time with that little shit. <laughs> like, seriously, I hate that guy because he's such a... The prince is an idiot and he's also a retard, as you just saw explained. He's gone to all the fancy schools and the best teachers and he still hasn't learned. So, basically, they're saying that he's a retard. <laughs> um, Which... Pretty much, so, uh, it gives you an idea of what's going to happen in the chapter. He's going to be a terrible, terrible tactician. Also, the fortress we're attacking is Symmetria. Yeah, you'll you'll get the name once you see the map. It's it's awful. It's really awful. I'm so happy I'm not playing this right now because I hate this chapter so much. Um. So Timo's like, oh, I'm expecting more units to be put on my side, but they haven't come yet. And, uh, spoiler alert, they don't come ever during this chapter. 
So you're pretty much stuck with your other units as always. And, you know, nobody has faith in Prince Trank, as you can see here. They're just like, oh, since it's led by Prince Trank, it's going to take a while. So let's go to the preparation screen. And I sort of just cut out my preparations. And for some reason, that fixes the palette glitch you just saw. Okay, this is the thing I cheated on. See, I hexed Nino to be, like, super epic McJesus awesome. All of her stats are maxed out. She's, like, crazy powerful. And I will be using her for this whole chapter. <sighs> and you won't be able to see just how bad this chapter is, mainly because I speed it up so much because it's so boring. Oh, yeah, this is Prince Trek right here. He's like, oh, uh, okay, Cavaliers. I'll send Cavaliers out. Uh, and that's it. And Percival's like, dude, you should be sending more than just Cavaliers. They're gonna get their asses kicked. But of course, Prince Trike doesn't listen because he's a little shit retard. Like, seriously, what? This guy's the most incompetent person ever. He doesn't even listen to the master. Master Percival. Um, okay, so the chapter starts. I forgot what I was saying before this, but... Yeah, Nino's going to be soloing the whole chapter. And the reason why this chapter is horrible is because, one, it's way too hard, and two, the unit variety is narrow. The only units you will be facing in this chapter are knights, archers, and mages. That is all. And once you get rid of the mages that were charging after you, then it's going to be just knights and archers. That will be all. Now, the reason why I couldn't do this with my normal team is because the archers and the knights have ludicrous attack power, ludicrous HP, and there's just way too many of them. You get overwhelmed way too quickly and your units aren't strong enough to compensate. So, you get overwhelmed really easily. And, um, Oswin's the only unit with enough defense to survive anything being dogpiled on him. But the problem is, there's o you only have one Oswin, and the rest of your units have shitty defense. So, you can't really wall these units in and just slowly beat the crap out of them. That just doesn't work. So, so, I tried another strategy. I turtled. I stayed at the very beginning and waited for the enemy units to come to me. This worked for a while, but then archer and knight reinforcements started to come out every single turn, and I, and I am serious about this. The only reinforcements, the only enemy reinforcements you face for this entire chapter are archers and knights. That is all. And it lasts for several turns. And it takes forever to get through all of them. Now, you can, uh, if you do manage to get through all of them, which will take you a while, by the time that's already done, Prince Trek's forces will already be wiped out and they'll already be charging after Prince Trek and Percival. And they're not, the enemy units aren't stupid enough to attack Percival. They're going to go straight for Trek. And if Trek dies, that's an instant game over. So really, I, I'm questioning whether this chapter is actually possible. It's just so ridiculous. And as you saw there, I broke through those generals like they were butter. Thanks to uh, Nino, who is now like super powerful. And now really all I'm just doing is just wiping out the rest of the units so that I can make room for Timo to seize the throne. Because apparently... You know, Timo, despite not being the, um, the, uh, prince or lord of this thing, is able to seize the throne. you, you think it'd be Trek, but then again, I, I can't really hold that against Nintendo Lord because that really isn't programmed into the great game. And, well, I think that's all I really gotta say about the chapter. It's just really poorly designed. Low unit variety way too difficult and the map design is just bland you really don't get much out of this map design you just it's just corridors 
and well, that's really all I got to say. I'm sure I can think of something else. I don't actually bother to kill those healers. I, I let the cavalry just destroy them. You jerks, what did those healers ever do to you? <laughs> and then Timo's like, oh, <laughs> looks like it's safe. Time's to come over there. That was not coherent English. What is with me and my not coherency in English languageness? I don't know, I don't care. I, let's see, I gotta think. What else do I gotta say about this chapter? Just, if you wanna know just how bad it is, I dare you to try it out for yourself. See if you can beat it because I, honestly, I can't. I don't have the patience for this. And, um, it's just way too difficult, way too poorly designed. It's, it's, it's boring. It's just not pleasant in any aspect. And, oh, finally we win. Seize so the throne. And, uh, yeah, I totally agree with you, Timo. That was a mother load of crap. Oh my god, it's sane. Yeah, we get sane at the end of this chapter. However, that's completely irrelevant because this is the last chapter of the game. So... That's really there all is to it. I honestly... Like, the, the hack really wasn't all that bad. It's just that this chapter was... Ah, uh, it's... It was just bad. And... It could have been so much better if the... the, the if Nintendo just nerfed it a bit. And I'm sorry if I'm upsetting anybody. It's just... These are my honest feelings about chapter and I don't want to hold them back he said for me uh, Nintendo told me not to hold back you know and that's really all there is to say about the game so until next time Marky Joe 1990 signing out and uh, Nintendo Lord if you ever do get to finishing this um, I hope you do take some of uh, the things I said into account and improve uh, what is otherwise a pretty decent hack and, uh, yeah. See you later.